welcome viewers Zach here welcome to a tier list video that's right today we are going to rate these cars in these tiers the S class being the best and the D class being the worst FR Remastered 2022 so it's a pretty solid game I enjoy driving from time to time but I don't enjoy the understeer thing too much at the moment I mean that's probably to be fixed in the next update so append that in next we have project apex for obvious reasons it's going s class next rostock racing rostock racing is fun i guess i mean i don't play too much i have tried it a few times but like there's no collisions and when there's no collisions it's not fun next we have formula classic 2003 i have made a video on this game and this is uh, a game that has a lot of potential i don't enjoy driving the tank chassis too much but apart from that it's a fun game it has it, it's literally the only game the only formula one game at the moment that has a uh, kind of a, a team engineer so almost honestly kind of a b or an a i'm giving it a b for now a b. roblox formula dream project i've played this game a while ago and i really enjoy driving this game i like the physics the cars are a bit overpowered in some corners but Really fun game to drive. I would put this in A class. It's not perfect, but it's really good. Formula Redline. Uh, this is Fexland's game. A uh, good clickbait would be putting it in D class, but for me, in terms, I like the spinning. The spinning in like when you go too aggressive with the corners is pretty realistic. So I am I am very willing to. I wouldn't say this isn't. It's not an A class game. I mean, the graphics are to be desired. I'm gonna put this in B class. In the, I'm in the middle of this one. Next we have Formula Roblox. Haven't played this game in a while, but this game is probably one of the most advanced Roblox games ever. And there were times where I would just grind on this game, try and get the fastest lap. And honestly, I would give this game an S. This is game is an S class. This is Car Racing United, I think it is, CRU. So I've played a lot of, the, well, I've played a good amount of this and I have made a few videos on it too. And I just really like the graphics of this game. It's very demanding on your computer and it causes my fans to spin up like crazy. But apart from that, it's a solid game and it has so much potential. I'm giving it A class. Next we have uh, Roblox Rally, I forgot his, uh, well, I made a video on this game. This game is just a really nice, sophisticated rally game. It's still racing, technically, since you go for hot laps. So I'm very willing to... I want to say, I mean, it, it's good. It's got good physics. It's nice. The game works well. I think... I'll try and put it on A. I think A is good. Next, we have Project Track Day. Project Track Day, I used to play this game since 2020. Like, when cars were free good times but obviously now it's a uh, it's changed but i guess that does make sense uh i have made a few videos on this game i do still enjoy driving it and since this is quite a go-to game for me i would put it on s class but i'm I, i'm kind of like confused between s and a but just because i've played this game for a long long i'm gonna give it an s class all right next we have rfa so this game doing their best to recover doing pretty well as a matter of fact and since the last time i played it to i do play it sometimes now and compared to now to how it was then they've they've changed so much the ui looks better a lot has improved and i think this game can be like you know it could be a top game one day and it's probably already making its way there so i'm gonna say i'm giving it an a class next we have backstretch battles this game for me is another one of those nostalgia games i used to play when this game had only a few tracks the lobby was much to be desired and i'm honestly honestly i mean i would give it s class i mean i, I, I like i like the, the physics are cool the car models are cool, so honestly, there's nothing too much wrong with it. So I'm I'm gonna put it in S class. And the last one is Ion Formula Racing. So Ion Formula Racing for me as well has a lot of history. Like I used to play this game as well around 2020. That kind of when the game began to become a bit more popularized. But like the game went for me went from good to bad in 2022 for a lot of people. But then now it's time to become really fun again. Like I really enjoy the game. It's a bit like, I would say, in the, it's a bit like uh, PA as well. I mean, I enjoy Project Apex a lot, even though it's like the 2023 cars, again, are a bit tricky to drive around. So I'm kind of like stuck between S and A class again. I would not go any lower. This game is very fun to, to play. I always play on my streams. I always make videos on it. I just enjoy PA more, but I would put, I literally, I'd put this next to each. Well, I don't know if you can. I'd put it, yeah. I put these two next to each other. These two, 
are probably the most go-to games. These these two are practically the biggest F1 games on Roblox. If you if there's like if obviously you've got other games that are bigger, but those aren't really Roblox racing games. Obviously, I've chosen this. If I've missed a game that I should have put on the tier list, do let me know in the comment down below. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you want more tier list videos, which is uh, which was trendy before but not anymore, do make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.